Hey guys, welcome back. Um, if you happen to see me do this painting, it looked completely different when I was done with it and I laid it on a surface that I had a folded up um, pee pad, one of these, um, under and the way it was folded, it was not uh, level. So silly, silly rookie mistake I made there. Um, so anyway, it doesn't look so great now. So I'm gonna pour over it. In my last video that I recorded, not posted, I did a new technique, but I did a terrible job of showing how I did it. So I'm gonna post this one first. So I just tried this and I really like it. Um, it's called, what I'm calling it anyway, a snap technique. So basically I have these um, baby headbands because my Walmart was still out of uh, elastic. And I might try Hobby Lobby or Amazon when I get home since this worked out so well. Um, and they're they're very elastic. And I cut them. And what I'm gonna do is as um, stick them on this canvas after I have some paint on there and um, snap it. Snap technique. So I think I'm gonna cross these. I didn't the other ones, but I might do something like this. Actually, I like that. So let's leave that there. And I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, and then so I'm just going to take my existing camera. Yes, so I'm going to take my push pins and just stick that down so that it's attached. I can't attach it on both sides, or I wouldn't have you know, I couldn't put paint under it, so I just attached it on one side. And I might fiddle with this and be able to have it. A little bit better. My husband suggested a rubber band that might work better. I got it in black paint. That's okay. I'm gonna wipe that off though because I don't think I'm gonna use black as my background color this time. I just use this. Okay, so this one will go here, and then this one will go like that. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. So, I'm gonna have purple as my background color. I have this big thing of purple mix. This is mixed with Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium. And I'm almost positive that there is no um, silicone in this one. Now this is mostly pouring medium. A little bit of Floetrol. I didn't mix it super well, did I? Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't end up a little bit uh, transparent. So you can see the painting underneath it, but. If it does, it does. Okay, I'm gonna use my little scraper thing, spread this out. All right, so I didn't quite have enough of that purple. And the reason, the reason it looks like two different colors is because it was mostly a uh, pouring medium. And I added a little bit of Floetrol um, because I don't like just using just pouring medium um, with pores. And uh, I guess I didn't mix it up. So that's why some of it looks dark and some of it looks light. And since I don't have enough, I'm gonna take this other purple I'm just gonna swirl it in. So we'll have kind of a two shaded background rather than a solid purple background, but I think it'll be just as pretty. Okay, so the second purple did have a little silicone in it, which is kind of cool. So we have these um, like cells popping up. So that looks really cool. That's gonna be a really neat background. Okay, so I'm just gonna do ribbons of color now. I have some bronze some magenta, and some black. So it's gonna be kind of a rich pour. I think I'm gonna do this one first. Now I do have these mixed a little bit thinner than what I normally do because I want that snap to really make that paint go. I'm not gonna use very much black because a little will go a long way, so I'm gonna stick with that. You know what, let's do teal instead of magenta. I'm gonna pull this across. It does tend to move it though. Okay, let's pull that across. Sit. I mean, it just uses bow since it's here and snap. I didn't have as much paint as I did the last time. It didn't snap quite as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more down here and do that again because my last one that I did, it really went. What I think I'm gonna do is add a little bit more water to my teal because I didn't thin that down um, any extra. If 
for this type of pour, and I think thinner is going to be better with this one. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more down here. Ooh. And some more of this bronze. And the black really did disappear, so we'll add a little bit more black. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Okay, so carefully with this. It's all the same color, so I'm not worried about it already having paint on it. Pull. And let's try more in the middle. Wow, there's a lot of paint on this canvas. Okay, snap. There we go. There we got a nice... We got a nice uh, splatter. Okay. That was cool. All right, so now we're gonna do this one and let me remember where this one's gonna go. Cause it does have to go under it, so. All right, hopefully I'll get this angle right. I might put a little bit of magenta in this one. Why not have a little bit of a contrast? Hopefully that is right. A little. Bronze. Now we'll see because I've only done this once before. I don't know how much the layering is going to affect. You know, is the bottom one at all going to show up if it gets completely covered? Or will that snap? I'm in long sleeves because I'm, I'm it's afraid this would go everywhere, but it's actually not. Um, splattering too far, which is nice. Um, I don't see any splatters on anything other than my uh, protection uh, pad here, so that's good. All right, so let's pull this. Oh, good. Right there. And let's snap. That one splattered a little bit further. The canvas is really wet. And actually, I'm, I can't show you my other one. My other one ended up with very straight lines. I'm gonna torch real quick. This one, there was more paint on the canvas, so there's less, uh, it didn't quite go as straight. But it really does look neat with those splatters. Oh look, some splattered clear over here. So if you want really straight lines, and that video will be up in a couple of days, so hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you wanna see that one. Um, less paint is better. If you want it to really go and you don't care about having the lines staying where they were, um, more paint. So this is really cool. I'm really excited to see this one dry. I will post um, a picture on here um, once it's dry. So um, again, if you wanna see all that, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And until then guys, happy pouring.